Hey, it's me. Um, hello. I think I've mentioned before that there are no flat surfaces in a forest, and that's a good thing. Um, I'm definitely in a place where I can't find a place to put this tripod, so I am holding the tripod as I talk to you. Uh, yeah, I hope you're well. This is where I am right now. I kind of see a bunch of old pines. Um, they're actually really old for this area. I suspect that uh, uh, they're part of the old forest that was here before it all got blown down in a storm and replanted with oak. Because uh, they're pretty big. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about that. But uh, it's all like moss covered. And there's a little bit of sun on my face. Oh, it's so nice here. Do you have some sun too? Oh, sun. Anyway, hi. It's me. Uh, happy equinox to all of you. Uh, I know this is a day late, but, uh, and you'll be seeing it a day later. And that's just how the internet works. Uh, consider this kind of a, you know, writing a letter and it takes a little while to get to you. But uh, yeah, uh, today is a really cool day for me. Um, a year ago, uh, a year ago I did something crazy and I'm so glad I did it. So a year ago, um, you know, I had been dating the man that I'm still with. And uh, it was like a year and a week ago or so. Um, everything shut down. Uh, it was COVID and uh, there was confinement here and he was like, hey look, um, when they shut the stuff down, um, we might not be able to see each other for a while. We had just started our relationship, it was like a month and a half before or whatever. And he's like, hey, uh, you know, you can, you can come stay with me during confinement if you want. And I was like, hmm, I don't know. I don't know, because I had just been out of a, you know, bad relationship, and I was like, oh, I'm going to be single for a while. Yeah, I really like this guy, but I want to be by myself, you know. But I was thinking, like, all right, well, I really like this guy. And if he had said, hey, why don't you come on a vacation with me for five weeks? Um, you know, I already had it planned, and I can get an extra ticket. Why don't you come with me? You know, in, that, in those same circumstances, I probably would have said, yeah, all right, cool. Because then I'd also get an idea whether or not I really liked the guy or if it was not going to work, you know. So that was kind of my reasoning when I uh, said, okay, yeah, I'll do that. So uh, I did. Um, I rode a bike. Um, not a good bike. It worked. But uh, it was one of those beach cruiser bikes. Uh, the ones that don't have brakes on them. Like to stop the bike, you have to backpedal. And there's no gears either. Um, but, you know, as I said, it worked. It was also pistachio green. Um, like, it's a, it's a woman's beach cruiser bike. And uh, it was my sister's. And so I took that bike. Um, so the official time to get from where I was to where I am now uh, was an hour and a half, uh, according to all the bike maps. And, you know, when I've done it, that's about how long it takes. But I was scared of getting stopped by cops uh, during controls and all of that. So um, I, I took a bunch of back routes, uh, mostly rode through forests. That was not a mountain bike. That was not a forest bike at all. But I managed to do it. And it took me four and a half hours instead of an hour and a half. Didn't bring any of my stuff with me either. I had my backpack with my laptop in it. And that was it. Um, because I reasoned if I got stopped by the cops and all of my stuff was in my backpack, they were going to want to know what I was doing. So I didn't take it. No, I just arrived four and a half hours after I left um, at his place. And um, he's got this look like, this is crazy. No one's ever done this for me. I'm like, I've never done this for anyone either. Um, I need a hot shower and some tea. And uh, so, uh, confinement here was not five weeks, it was seven weeks. Uh, seven weeks of living together, um, which became the coolest thing ever. 
because we realized very super quickly that, wait, this kind of works. Um, and it was really fun to be around, and you know, sex was amazing. We were three or four times a day sometimes, sometimes five. Um, and, uh, and actually, so being with him too, in this like new area is what inspired me to start doing these videos. Um, so you have that to thank for these. Um, yeah, so that was a year ago today that I made that crazy bike ride. And I'm so glad I did. Uh, yeah, so anyway, so where I am, um, let's see, do, 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 uh, I showed you in the opening video, there's a, there's a stream down there, and then there's like deer tracks and boar tracks everywhere. Now this is the other side of the stream, um, but I took a different way here. Ah, uh, it's, it's awesome, like, I've been passing this, like, path for a long time that, um, you know, I, I was like, oh, I wonder what's up there. But then I'd kind of look and it didn't seem to go anywhere. And mm, I don't know. Um, but today I decided to take it. And uh, it turns out it's just, it just goes up to the other side of the stream. So um, normally there's like a more direct route. But I took this, I'm like I'm on the top of the hill. Or was. Those, those trees kind of go up towards the top of the hill. And uh, I walked down and there's my stream. Well, which is really cool. And all these deer and boar tracks. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna ramble today. Hope that's okay. I, I know this crazy, crazy things happening in the world and, and like in politics and shit. And I don't wanna talk about any of it. I just wanna talk about happy shit and fun stuff and plants and trees and boars. That's what I was gonna talk about. All right. So, uh, man, I wrote about this uh, on social media. Um, but, all right, so you remember the last video I made where I was from that Druid site, or I was in that Druid site. And um, so that Druid site was, uh, um, it, it's now called Freyle, um, which means Freya's Rock. Um, but before that, like, the, the site has all of the, the makings of a uh, worship site to Arduina. Arduina is the goddess of the Arden. She was worshipped in high places and was this uh, huntress goddess, like a big, big goddess. Um, so, okay, so there's that. But this is, it's really funny. Um, like... Almost seven years ago, I guess, maybe five, six, I'm not sure. Uh, on my first pilgrimage to Europe. And it's weird to like take a pilgrimage to Europe. If you live in Europe, you're like, why would you take a pilgrimage here? But no, it made sense what I was doing. Um, so I ended up going to this place. Um, that was, it was uh, the night before I was going to go climb up an old Druid mountain. And, uh, or two nights before, actually. I remember, like, I, like, no, actually, it was the night before. Yeah, <laughs> that's wild. All right, so I'm in this campground, but it's, like, this weird remote campground. There's people there. It's an official campground, but there was, like, no one there. Everyone was surprised there was an American there. Like, what are you doing? And no one comes here at this time of the year. But I did. And, uh, so I had this dream I gotta I gotta I gotta go back for a second I had asked this friend who was like you know polytheist witch sort of person I asked him like hey man I I have like I'm having these weird really panic dreams and stuff and I don't know uh, could you like do some sort of ritual for me you know and he's like yeah sure I'll do that so he did a ritual for me uh, but then like so I knew he was doing a ritual that night but I didn't know what he was doing I went to sleep, and um, in the middle of the night, I was super tired. In the middle of the night, I remember having this dream where I heard this, I heard this like snorting right next to me, and it was, I remember, I was like half awake, half asleep, and I was like, oh, it's a, it's a mother boar. She's, she's hungry, poor thing. And then I just went back to sleep. And the snorting, I remember in the dream, it was like right here, it was like right next to my ear. And, uh, anyway, so the, the morning I woke up afterwards, oh, go away, plane. Uh, anyway, sorry, man. I 
can't control the planes. I would love to, but I can't. Uh, what would I make the planes do? I would make them stay where they are instead of going making noise. And, but the Ravens can definitely keep calling like that. Anyway, um, next morning I wake up, and I'm like all groggy, and I get out of my tent so I can make some tea. And uh, I, I can't find my backpack. Uh, I'm like, where the fuck is my backpack? All of my tea was in there. And I couldn't find it. And so I start searching around, and then I see my backpack is like, uh, 10 feet away from me, like what, what it, three meters. And uh, I also, like, and I turn and I look at my tent, and the tent is covered in bird shit and raven shit, actually. And I hear them cackling above me. And I'm like, where the fuck is my tea? Like, so I get my backpack and I'm like rummaging through it, and it's like been open. I'm like, oh shit, what the hell? Someone got into my stuff. And I notice, like, all of my possessions are there, like, all of my, you know, like, my, my cool stuff, including my, like, like phone and camera, everything's there. But my food's gone. And uh, I see, like, like, all of the packaging is, like, strewn all over the place. I, oh, something got into my food. What the fuck? And I'm like, what the fuck is all this raven shit, too? This is just fucking wild. And um, the, uh, there are these two, two women. Uh, they were, both had the same name, Laurent. Laurence. Um, and they were like best friends since they were like five and they were like in their forties and they went camping together and they thought it was cool that there was an American next to them and they were both kind of attracted to me. So they were flirting with me all the time and they kept inviting me over for t t like coffee in the morning. I was like, no, it's okay. And then finally I did. And then it was fun. But, um, so, so one of the Laurences, like she, she sees the mess and she's like, oh yeah. Um, uh, c'était les sang sangliers. Sanglier is wild boar. And I'm like, what? what? Sanglier? Uh, you know, and she's trying to explain it. And she's like, ah, c'est comme un couchon, mais c'est uh, sauvage. And I'm like, oh, wild boar, okay. And, uh, and, and she's like, yeah, they come down from the mountains. And, yeah, they eat all your stuff. And I'm like, wow, okay, so that wasn't a dream. That's pretty wild. Anyway, so I got, so I had no cell phone or anything. And this friend was in America. And, uh, you know, I think it was like two days later uh, was the next time I was anywhere near a, like an internet cafe. I used to have those because not everybody had phones and stuff. And I was checking email there and uh, I got an email from him. He's like, hey, man, I tried to do the ritual. And when I was doing it, though, there was this big, like, wild, like, giant, hairy woman who was like standing over your tent. And she looked at me and she's like, no. No, don't worry about him. He's mine. And he was like, she seemed friendly, but really fierce. I was like, oh, okay. That's really weird. Well, I guess maybe that was related to the raven shit and the boars and stuff. But anyway, so I was telling you before about Arduina. Um, it was like depicted riding a boar. And she's a giantess hunter. And when I was... I, I was trying to explain it to someone, and I was like, oh, yeah, and then there's, and then suddenly it hit me, like, oh, okay. And <clears throat> what I mean by that, I mean, I've always had kind of the sense that, like, certain gods have sort of been like, hey, yeah, you're, you're, you're mine. And that's cool. I'm all right with that. Um, one of those gods is a raven god, and that kind of can explain why, you know, my tent would be covered with raven shit. Um, but, uh, yeah, that, that giantess was always like, who the fuck was that? I don't know. You know, and I was thinking about all of the lore that I knew, which was all like the Welsh Gaelic lore, you know, where there were lots of giantists, giantesses, uh, who are also gods and goddesses, because that's usually, giants are usually gods. Um, and uh, none of them fit. And then when I realized, oh, Arduina, um, oh, what triggered this? Oh, I remember what triggered this. It was my man. It was like saying, you know, you've kind of lived a really weird magical life and it's almost like this place called you. And he doesn't normally say like stuff like that. He's kind of an atheist, actually. I mean, he's one of those atheists who still thinks animals like will give you signs and stuff, but he never talks like that. But he's like, it's like this place called you. 
you know and he was like listing off all of these things and and that was when i kind of put together the like well i am in the arden arden which is arduino's woods and oh arduino is a huntress goddess who is depicted riding a boar and maybe sometimes a boar herself and then there's that mother boar and then that big giantess i was like oh okay that was pretty cool can you tell I'm kind of happy today? I'm kind of happy today. I hope that's all right. It better be all right. Of course it's all right. Um, I, I guess, like, I started these... Hmm. I guess it's been, like, about a week or two since I started these. Uh, a year ago. I don't know, maybe the first one was in April or something. And then I was like, oh, I want spring to come. And... You know, and then spring was like suddenly there and I realized like, oh, wait, no, spring is already there and you can't rush those things, just like you can't rush healing. And you can't rush magic either. Um, you can't rush wisdom. And it's best that way. Um, and I always find like, I feel like I find places here wandering through these woods, like when I'm meant to, you know, like, and I always suspect that there's a path up here. You know, and then there it is. But I didn't find it until today. And today was kind of a good day to find that, to find this like new path to like this place that I always go to on the anniversary of like the day that I took a path to get here. That was like a completely new path for me that has completely changed my life in amazing ways. Yeah, yeah, ah, uh, yeah, anyway. <sighs> I hope you are all well too. I am really glad for your support, but I'm especially glad that you guys watch these. Um, you know, I, I make them for you. I guess I also make them for myself and I never really think too much like, oh, well, I mean, I know people are watching it, but you know, um, I hope you like them. Um, you must like them if you watch them, but thank you for watching these. Seriously. I'm going to continue. Don't, that's not a, oh, I'm done. No. I'm going to continue, but thank you for watching these. Um, it's been really good for me, I guess, to kind of, you know, be far away from everyone I know. Well, not now. I now know people here. Um, and to talk about these things from forests, from cool sacred places. Um, yeah. Anyway, I love you all, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.